In the battle against cancer, there is a promising new treatment, a high-tech therapy that targets tumors and with fewer painful side effects than chemotherapy. How this treatment was developed is quite a story, told tonight by Dr. John LaPook. And you can see the, the uniformity. Mark Davis, a chemical really engineer the at the California Institute of Technology, was a complete stranger to the world of medicine. His expertise was in the oil industry. Then, in 1995, his wife Mary was diagnosed with breast cancer. And there were many times during the therapies where I just really wanted to give up. I thought that the treatment was going to kill me rather than the disease itself. The chemo killed the cancer but wreaked havoc on her body, permanently damaging her hearing. When she finished going through this, she just said, well, this, this is just awful. Um, there really should be better ways to treat cancer patients where you can have high quality of life. She said, why don't you guys start working on it at Caltech? And I said, well, come on, I don't know anything about cancer. And her response to that was, well, what kind of excuse is that? So you can see all of the, the nanoparticles here. So at age 40, Davis changed his focus and with no medical training developed a novel way to treat cancer. So cancer treatment is an engineering problem to some extent. It is to me. And that's the way I looked at it from the, from the very beginning. He turned to nanotechnology. They're fairly uniform in size. Engineering tiny particles to do big things. In this video, they're seen penetrating the outer membranes of cells. Chemotherapy has toxic side effects because when the molecules are injected into veins, they are so small they can escape the bloodstream and damage normal cells along with cancerous ones. Davis built a new drug delivery system. He loaded hundreds of molecules of a cancer drug into microscopic spheres built from sugar. They are too big to slip out of the bloodstream until they reach their target. This allows them to destroy solid tumors, like lung and breast cancer, and spare healthy tissue. Because we get much more drug in the tumor. Had David Cherish of the University of California, San Diego, is also working on nanomedicine for cancer. So in effect, we can reduce the level of drugs to the surrounding tissues, the normal tissues, increase the drug at the site of the tumor, and uh, really get more bang for our buck. Davis's nanoparticles have been tried in more than 50 patients in the U.S. and will be tested at more than 20 sites across Europe. So far, treatment using nanotechnology shows far fewer side effects than traditional chemotherapy. But using it to treat cancer is still in its infancy. Almost, you know, every month I get a phone call from someone who has a friend who's gotten, been diagnosed with cancer. And it's always in the back of my mind, oh, Mark, hurry up, hurry up. This was a good start, but as engineers, we always want to do better. So we want to make version 2.0 and 3.0, and, and hopefully it'll just keep getting better and better. Researchers are now filling these nanoparticles with all sorts of treatments, from chemotherapy to molecules that actually repair the broken genetic material that makes cancer cells grow out of control. Fascinating, John. Thank you very much.